Yo, the big cry and welcome to Ace Esther. Eh. <laughs> Dude, this theme. Oh my gosh, I'm getting nostalgic. Ace Attorney. This is one of my favorite detective games in the world. I know, I know it says uh, attorney, but it's more like a detective game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I played this game before, two years ago actually. Uh, every time I went home from school, me and my cousin used to sit and play long sessions of this game. I just want to play it again for all time's sake. Some of you probably already know who Phoenix Wright is, but I'm not gonna be surprised if you don't. He's basically a defense attorney and that's, that's all you need to know. The best of the best, baby. Episode 1, the first turnabout. Dude, that theme. That was one of my favorite characters' theme. That was Maya's theme. Ooh. <gasps> oh no, I spilled ketchup everywhere. Damn it, why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. I've got to find someone to pin this on. My mole. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3, 9.47 a.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby. Boy, I'm nervous. It's our boy Phoenix, right? Oh, I'm so hyped. Right. Hold on, let's change her voice. She's more mature. Oh, hi, Chief. Phew. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. And everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him- It's because I can't read. What the- what the- Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe him my current job to him. It's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. Someone keep chatting me. Please stop. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just... Oh wait, the... <laughs> I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! My life, everything, it's all over! Mm. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death and despair, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna die, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Sounds like he wants to die. Ow. You think? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Nick! Hey, that's my name. Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong with you, Larry? Oh, it's so over. I, I'm finished. Finished! Can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Probably because of your name, but... Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? My precious little baby baby. Mm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Newspapers say it was you. Hmm. Yeah, but is that true, though? My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. This man saw a dead body. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was an unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. Best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23... In a 20... I can't say three guys, that's my weakness. In a 23 year I've known him. It's usually been true. He has a knack of getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone. He's a good guy at heart. Hmm. Yes. That and I owe him one. Which is why I took the case. To clear his name. 
And that's just what I'm going to do. Hmm. August 3, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Wright, is this your first trial? Is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, a little nervous. The conduct during this trial will def decide the fate of your client. The murder is a serious charge for charge for your client's sake. I hope you can control your nerves. Thanks. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain. As what the heck is ascertain readiness? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Hands shaking, eyesight fading, knees weak, arms are heavy. Mom, spaghetti. The test will conduct of a few simple questions. Answer them correctly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. That's Larry Butts. Defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Uh... Whew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover so many times. I have not read that. It's... Wait. Uh... Oh... No way! I forgot! I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix! Are you absolutely sure you should, you're up to this? Don't even know the victim's name? Why did you turn British over, Sorry, Phoenix? Oh, the victim? Of course. I know the victim's name. I, uh, just forgot. Temporarily. Good luck, Larry Butts. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court records. Just press tab to check it any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who's the victim's name in this case? Um, the victim's name is... Cindy. Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Why did you take so long to answer, Mr. Wright? Now tell me, what's the cause of her death? Oh, blunt trauma. She died because of what? Blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all of my questions. I see no reason why we should not proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor. Payne is my middle name. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what the object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue of the shape, uh, statue shape and thinker is rather heavy, okay. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court records frequently. What the heck is tab? Oh, he slammed the thing. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. Why is my phone? The prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Oh, wow. Uh, Larry Butts gets excited easily. It's gonna be bad. Okay. So I'm not gonna explain anything yet. I'm just let, I'm gonna let the game explain stuff. <clears throat> Mr. Butts, is it true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony? <laughs> Who did? Um, didn't they die? <laughs> Wait, who's Mark Anthony? Um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumb. She was just 
wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever was it to you anyway mr butts what do you describe you generally what uh, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumb in fact she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men what she has just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder what do you mean one of them lies all of it lies i don't believe a word of it here's the picture here's the document here's everything your honor the victim's passport according to this she was in paris until the day before she died the victim apparently arrived home in paris from 7 30 the day before the murder okay huh, indeed she appears to have returned the day before the murder dude no way the victim was a model but did not have a large income it appears that she had a several sugar daddies <laughs> daddies <laughs> sugar <laughs> yes older men who gave her money and gifts she took their money she took their money and used it to support her lifestyle dude we can clearly see that kind of woman we can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way with ruining his mouth, running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Um. No, I should stop him probably. Shut the fuck! My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. The question is irrelevant to this case. Oof, who wins? Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That's cheating, she a dog? I don't know, whatever that means. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, I wanna meet her in the afterlife. I'm gonna strangle her to death. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? That accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. Oh, I probably shouldn't have stopped that then. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, didn't you? Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. You went. What do I do? Uh, have him answer honestly. I know, I sent him a signal. Tell the truth. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was there, I went. You're guilty. What did I do? Just go, just go. What did I order? Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I did see her. Oh. <laughs> Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? What am I so? Why do we sound like about to cry? The prosecution would like to call a witness. I can prove Mr. Butt is lying. Well, that simplifies the matter. Who's your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing from the crime scene. Oh, it's the mole guy. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. The day of the murder. My witness was telling was selling newspaper to the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Shawit to the stand. Frank Shawit? <laughs> I'm freak show it. Mr. Show it. You sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh yes, newspaper, yes. Mr. Show it. You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw the day of the murder. Okay, here we go. I was going door to door, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing from the apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I look inside the apartment. Then I saw her, lying there. A woman, 
Not moving. Dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Quailed. I mean quailed. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. What was that? I went to a nearby park. I found a public phone. I remember the exact the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. You scum. Huh. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to be work supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Shaw had used was the one of those. Your Honor, I have a record. I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Per per whatever, dude. Black on record under the court record. Out of the noon, 6 p.m. the day of crime. Okay. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross examination. Cross examination? Your Honor? Alright, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Well, you're supposed to lie in this. You're so. You're. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not supposed to lie. You exposed the lie in the testimonies the witnesses gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Klein is innocent, right? And that witness must have lied in this testimony. Is your client really guilty? Okay. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, Find the contradiction between court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradiction contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Open the court record with tab to find out the contradiction testimony. Okay. So this is mostly the game. Uh, half of it is finding evidence and half of it is uh, pointing out lies. So, uh, okay. Cross-examination. So at this part, you see we have lives, right? Okay, let me save when I explain this. So what we do here is basically whatever statement he makes, we basically press him or cross-examine him. And there's no there's no uh, limit to this, by the way. You don't get the penalty if you cross-examine him. I was going door to door. Send up subscription when I saw a man fleeing from the apartment. Okay, we we'll press that. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? Find it odd you would find you would take notice of him. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, he just seemed strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad and yet fine at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing from the crime scene. Scene of a crime. The defense requires the witnesses refrain from conjecture. Conjecture, I mean. Of course, what the witness means is the man he saw looks suspicious. So what happened next? Okay. I thought I must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Shut up, dude. Half open, you say? Yes, yes, the door was open halfway, yes. I'll watch for a moment, but no one came to, the, to close the door. That's odd. In a big city like this, I thought? I see. And what happened next? Thinking it's strange, I look inside the apartment. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Yeah, exactly. What gave you the right to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. Isn't it only human to want to peek? We climb mountains because they're there. It's the same thing. No, it's not, dude. Don't do that, guys. True or words never been spoken. Anyone will look inside. Hmm. What did pain come off so quickly? So you looked into the apartment. What happened then? And I saw her lying there. Woman not moving, dead. How did you know she was dead? Are you sure she was dead? W well, no, I guess it wasn't. But she wasn't moving and all oh, there was blood everywhere and there was blood everywhere. I guess that will look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. 
So you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Uh, yes, I mean, no, nothing. Okay, what happened next? Wait. So how did you know the phone wasn't... Oh no, I don't have the... Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But how did you know the phone wasn't working? Thought I made you call the police. You thought to call the police? Does that mean you didn't actually call them? Please, please. Listen to the rest of the testimony. You thought to call the police. What happened next? However, the phone in the, her apartment wasn't working. The phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, no, no, it wasn't, right? But you said you didn't go in the apartment. Exactly, or did you? Oh, uh, th th I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I went to the nearby park and saw a public phone. Okay, a public phone. What is a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. And being in the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer in the nearby apartment. Is that normal for a newspaper sales representative to not have a phone? Like you're a businessman. Alright. What time did you call again? I remember that time exactly. It was 1 p.m. 1 p.m.? Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right. Does that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Oh. Okay, so that was it. Or was it? Well, let me press this just in case. Are you absolutely sure? 100% positive? Yes, it was him. No mistake about it. The witness said he's certain. That's all of it. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. Examine the core record tab. Okay, 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 okay. Find blah, blah, blah. Okay. So uh, at 1 p.m. So time of death was 4 p.m. to 5. Wait. Is it this? Or is it? It was out from noon to 6 p.m. Oh, no, 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 no. Probably this. Yep. Okay. Ah, oh, yep, we got it. There's no music. You found a body at 1 p.m. You sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Well, you just lied, dude. Frankly, I find it hard to believe. Statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes that the time of death... What? 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 The, autops the autopsy notes that the time... Of of death at some huh the autopsy notes the time of death at some time after that that's a weird sentence there was nobody to uh no body to find at 1 p.m shut up phoenix how, don't don't smile how do you explain this three hour gap uh oh uh, that uh er uh, um uh, um uh, uh, kind of a uh, cringe arm um. okay um uh, this is gonna be a, the witness might have forgot the time no, I think not. After his testimony, I find it hard to believe. Mr. Shawit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always begets more lies. I know you read that. Beget, 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 bleh. You two, one, their whole story falls apart. True, 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 true. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give a testimony again? Hmm, okay. Change it again. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. You said there was no electricity. I'm so confused. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. I'm not lying or anything. Hmm. I see. Are you, are you No! I heard a voice saying, Dude, this. Mr. Red, may I cross again? I already know what to. I don't even need to. Right. You know what to do? I got this one. Yeah, I know what to do. 
like I, it could either be this or this. I'm gonna try this. Ah, thank you. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Oh crap. <laughs> You liar, why you lie again? You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Hey, <laughs> uh, well, uh. The defense is a point. You have an explanation for this, Mr. Showit? No, uh, I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. Uh, wait, I remember now. Mr. Showit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. This constant correction are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather distraught. Uh, my apologies, your honor. It, uh, it, mu uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Shaw. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Uh, are you serious? Is it is guilty. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah. The murder weapon the killer used. Nope, it wasn't a clock. That must have been what I saw. He saw a clock. Guess I would explain it. The defense may cross examine the witness. Gladly. <laughs> He's just tired of everything. Like, how do you even know this? If, even if this is true. Okay, I'm gonna present this. Even if this is true, how do you have the time to even look at it? The time to even look at the time. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue? Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Well, you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? I'm an attorney, dude. Just answer the question, Mr. Shaw. Hey, I I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Ooh, the music. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Page. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock, after all. Well, Mr. Wright... It appears that the witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problem with this testimony now? Yes! How do you even know if you don't examine the clock? He doesn't step in. Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in this witness te testimony. The only way you could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Exactly. But the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Mm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock before he... Before he... Before he knew the... What? What did he know it was a clock before he... Before he went to the apartment? You're lying! You went inside the apartment on the day of the murder! Oh yeah? Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that! I'm gonna prove you were the one who killed her! He stuck her... He struck her with his clock! The shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice! What was the sound you heard? Ooh. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Shaw. The sound must have left, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable. Since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, the voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Oh, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjectures. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness please care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with this clock? <laughs> wow, Judge is such a huge help. I... The day I never... Look, I... The clock, I... Oh, no, I saw... I saw... What? Mm. <laughs> Shut up!
shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. It was him. I tell you. I saw him. He killed her. And he should be burned. Burn! Give him death. Ooh. Showing his true colors. Order. Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shed of evidence to support the defense claim. Dude, this, their voices is so hard. They all sound similar. Because they all have the same kind of attitude. Like, timid. And wimpy. Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor. You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. I better think of it carefully. Your Honor. The sound Mr. Short heard was definitely from this clock. The fact which is clear if you simply... Shoot. Uh... Summon the fast batteries. All you have to do is summon the batteries. Hmm? The batteries are... In the right way. The clock seems to be working fine. Uh... The clock was working fine. Um... Yes, and... Uh... uh <laughs> okay, nope. Okay. Let's sound the clock now. Here in this court. Your Honor, you may I have the clock? Ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep beep. I think it's 8.25. Oh, exposed! That's certainly a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne. Can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25 um. As you can see, this clock is exactly 3 hours slow Precisely the discrepancy between the Mrs. Shaw with her and the actual time of death Oh, wait, 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 really? 4 3, 2 Oh, you're right! So, Mr. Shaw I had to talk your way out of this one <sighs> You forgot one thing! Oh... What's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like this is a clock running 3 hours slow. It proves nothing! How do you know I was, run I was running 3 hours slow the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right! How am I gonna prove that? Damn it! I was so close! Mr. Wright. Seems you lack the, the critical evidence to support your claim. Uh, yes, Your Honor. This means I, I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. Are you serious? This ends across the of Frank Short. I came all the, the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. <sighs> I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. Failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Oh! Not so fast, Mr. Showit! Mia! I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this on one away. Not like this. Think! But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yes, but that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste the time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow. Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right. Right? <laughs> That's so... Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be... Um... I I'll just say yes. I actually forgot, dude. As I said, I played this two years ago. Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Why did I let them have it? Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. You found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court records that can prove my claim beyond, no beyond a doubt. Ha! Huh. Tough words! Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence. Proves why... Okay. Um... Did I already present the... Yeah, I presented... Stop chatting to me, please! Okay. We have this. We already presented this. 
this dirty still. We only didn't present this, but I don't really know what the point of this is. The, the victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. Wait, <laughs> I didn't know that. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. there the next day. It's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's where the time you heard when you. Uh, sorry. That's where the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Show It? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> Whoa! Uh. Is he okay? Order, order, I say! Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, you witness? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone someone complete the defense so quickly and find a true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court's find the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty! Yay! Congrats, Larry. You don't have a girlfriend, though. And with that, the court is adjourned. Turns out that French Showit was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Showit left himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Showit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Okay, August 3, 32. Ew! I still can't believe we won! Right! Good job in there! Congratulations! Thanks, Chief! I owe it all to you! Not at all, not at all! You fought your own battle in there! That's not true. It's been a while since I've seen a trial and such a satisfying note. Never seen a ch I've never seen Chief look this happy. If she's this. If she's this glad, I don't know how Larry must feel. My life is over! Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. <laughs> okay. Good. Wait, no, I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wind is gone, man. We're gone forever! Larry, she was a... Uh, nah, never mind. She was for the streets! Congratulations, Harry. It's Larry. Harry? Yes, you! I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent! Heh <laughs> uh, thanks. I will owe you a Don't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner. Movie? My treat! He got over that real fast. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh hey! Here, take this! It's a present! A present for me? Wait, wasn't this evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? Y you made this? Well, thank you. I'll give this some memento. Yo, Nick. Uh... Can you believe it? I was so into that chick, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? Larry... Are you sure? Squeeze me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't need to sympathize with me, it's okay. Oh, not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right? 
Do you have anything to show your friend? Tell you to prove how she felt about him? Huh? Oh yeah, right. What the heck is he talking about? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, this, this. I remember. She still kept it. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Uh huh. What about the clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed the clock. That's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take for traveling. Well, make of it a make of it what you will. That's actually really sad, dude. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made you feel a little better. <sighs> right? I hope you see this, the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People too. You never really know if your client is guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in, never. I hope you heard all of that telepathically. But I think our worker is done, shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying a part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part at least. You have to tell me more about it sometimes. Over drinks? And so, my first trial came to a close. Harry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to be f to have good friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave to Mia. Actually, you can probably sell those for a lot of money. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be the center of another incident. I promise to tell Chief about me and Larry. The one promise that I won't be able to keep. Ooh, foreshadowing. A brand new episode has been added. Ooh, yeah, let's save. Wasn't that fun, guys? Wasn't that fun, guys? Nope, nope. But let's let's watch this for a sec. Beep. Hello? This is Maya. Oh, this is Maya. Oh, wait. No, no, no. no never mind. <laughs> That's his sister. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called me in a while. Sorry. I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, I'm lonely. And it's all your fault. Now I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually... I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold the evidence for you. Sharp as always. It's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe giving the evidence here. Gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. It's the clock. A clock? Yeah. It's made to look like the statue of the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! Not a little girl anymore, sis. No, no. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork out. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I'll put some papers inside instead. Papers? Is that evidence then? Hmm, well, suppose there's a possibility that it might turn out the way. Yes. Oh wait, this is not me. Wait, no, is it? Never mind. Can you come by to the office tonight? Say 9 to pick this to pick it up? I'll be in a petrol meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. Gonna really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, just don't forget you have diabetes. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5, 9, 27 a.m. Oh.
No, Miss Faye. Let's take what's mine, the papers. So... I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you're a poor liar. Why, well, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker. Let's swallow those papers. How could you know? Hoo -hoo. Not con cognif cognif of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I should have been more careful. Ho ho. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Oh man, this kills me. I don't want to see this. Why is it always dudes with pink blazers? Red, white, blue. And that's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing. Uh, you can also comment down below. I, I don't usually like look at comments. I just look at the like ratio or the views. But either way, if you want me to continue this, then I will. I'm probably gonna continue it either way, but not right away. I also wanna, you know, play different games or do other stuff. Also, this took a long time to record. I've been recording for 59 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.